It's your boy, Big Baby. Support sporting icons for latest boxing news. Cheeseburger. Now, I just went over to Instagram there, and Big Baby Jaron Miller done a live stream late last night. Obviously, I didn't watch it live, so this is the recorded version. And during that, he, you know, he speaks about life in general and whatever else. But the most important part of this one for me is where he is concerned with what he's doing next in the ring. And of course, as we all know, Epic Sports Entertainment won the purse bid for the mandatory, the IBF mandatory between Kubrat Pulev and Big Baby Jaron Miller, where Miller, he was set to earn half a million dollars, which is some serious loot. But for me, you know what? I don't agree with this whole IBF mandatory situation. I don't get it. Neither one are champion. Kubrat Pulev is not a champion. Yet the IBF deem it okay that Kubrat Pulev gets 75%. It should be 50-50 is what it should be. Um, but either way, Epic Sports Entertainment, they won the bid and they said that the fight will happen in Bulgaria. This is automatically a red flag for a lot of fighters. Bulgaria is a wonderful place. It's beautiful. I've got a friend of mine who bought a cabin out there um, who goes skiing, of course, and it's a real, real nice country. But fighters don't want to go to Bulgaria. That's just how it is. Um, you know, each of them have their own reason. Maybe it's just not appealing. Um, and for half a million dollars, it's a serious amount of loot. He's going to be getting way more than what Dillian White was going to get. But Big Baby Jaron Miller just didn't want to go. And that's what he said on his, his uh, Instagram there, where he says, there ain't no way I'm going to Bulgaria unless they pay me some serious loot. Now, what does he consider serious loot? For me, half a million dollars is serious loot, which is by far his biggest payday. It really is. But... As I said before, when they were going through the whole purse bid situation, that for me, I can't see Miller going to Bulgaria. I can't see him wanting to leave America. He, did, he doesn't want to leave America. Um, so he's almost given up an opportunity to become the IBF mandatory. Now, I can understand it with Dillian White because Dillian White had backup. You know, he had the other choice of Luis Ortiz where he was going to get more money than the 25% he was going to get against Pulev. And as it turned out, he's now getting even more money to headline a show against Joseph Parker at the O2 Arena. And he's set to earn some real, real serious loot. And this 20,000 arena at the O2 has sold out. So I understand Dillian White. Um, before then, it was Dominic Brazil. He pulled out because he's on a promise to fight Deontay Wilder for the WBC title. And this happened a couple of months ago. So Dominic Brazil has been on a promise to fight Deontay Wilder. That's why he pulled himself out. Fair enough, title opportunity. Um, big baby Jaron Miller, if he doesn't fight Pulev, who else is he going to fight? He's made it clear on many occasions that he doesn't want to leave America. When there was talk of him fighting Dillian White, when there's talk of him fighting Anthony Joshua, it's always a case of, you come to New York. But he's in the position now where, yes, he's popular and I rate him. I really, really like Big Baby Jaron Miller. But he's at this position now, he's at the juncture in his career where he has to start taking some massive steps if he wants the world title shots. Now, unless, of course, he's on some kind of promise from Anthony Joshua that should Joshua beat um, Alexander Povetkin next, then he's going to be next. It kind of makes sense as Joshua did offer... Um, Deontay Wilder, an April date at Wembley for Undisputed. And for me, I can't see Joshua taking on Povetkin um, in September and then waiting right the way up until April. I just can't see it. So for me, he's, pro he's probably going to want to get a fight in before then, if of course a wild fight happens. And why not Big Baby Jaron Miller? And he's very open to go to America to fight Miller. Why? Because he's not Undisputed, that's why. Um, if it was undisputed and Jaron Miller was champion, Miller would have to come to the UK. But Miller, he didn't, he didn't want to travel at all. And he's made it p perfectly clear. He said to Dillian White, if you want to fight, then you come to me. And he said it to multiple fighters. So Miller is going to be one of these guys who doesn't want to leave New York. And certainly not America. So when this whole purse bid was going on with Kubrat Pulev, it's like I said to you guys before, and a lot of you guys agreed that it's unlikely that Miller is going to go to Bulgaria. I can't see it. Now... It's a bit of a shame because I like that fight. Um, Pulev is high risk, very, very good. Double jab followed by a big right. And he's very elusive, very skillful. Um, he's only lost his to Vladimir Klitschko where he made one error and got punished for it. Now, with Miller, he needs this kind of fight. But he's, he's one of these fights against Pulev. As much as anybody who really watches Pulev knows, he's a fantastic fighter. But he's very, very high risk. And as far as opinions go, because 
and let's be honest, with boxing nowadays, most of it is casual based, where that where they will know some of the key fighters, but they won't know too much about it. They've probably heard of Pulev, maybe not seen him fight. But if Miller was to go there and beat him, then he would, he's not going to get that much credit. But ultimately, it is for mandatory. If he wants to force a situation, then mandatory it is. But he does have a good option with the WBO as well, I believe. Um, he's not ranked by the WBC. This is Miller, of course, for whatever reason. I think he's not part of the WBC clean boxing program for whatever reason. But this is a fight that I really, really wanted. I wanted to see this fight, but Miller doesn't want to travel, um, which seems odd to me if you want to progress your career for half a million dollars as well. I mean, who else is he going to fight and get half a million dollars? Unless he's got Anthony Joshua on a promise. I don't know. But Pulev is in a good position anyway. Um, it just means that now, um, with Dominic Brazil not doing it, Dylan White not doing it, um, Jaron Miller not doing it, he'll just keep on going down the list. And he will keep on getting 75% and people won't want to go to Bulgaria. So ultimately, he's going to end up either just becoming the mandatory or he's going to end up fighting some scrub. Either way, he's going to be mandatory, right? And that's just the way it is. Epic Sports Entertainment seem quite keen on paying Pulev a lot of money. They said that there's no chance of this fight against Miller going to America because Miller isn't a big enough name, whereas Pulev is a celebrity over in Bulgaria. So I understand what, what it is that they're getting at, but I don't know. For me, it's a waste opportunity for Miller, um, unless, of course, he's on that promise from Joshua. I don't know. But what's he going to do between now and then? Who's he going to fight? Be interesting. I mean, if he's going to fight Luis Ortiz, then great. But if he's not ranked by the WBC, almost what's the point? Unless it's for money. But for half a million dollars that he's turning down seems, I don't know, it seems like a lot of money to turn down to me. If you're only making, what well, maybe best part of 100 grand per fight. I don't know how much he's making, to be honest. I never looked at it. But I don't know. So that's what the news is. As of right now, Big Baby Jaron Miller says that there ain't no way in hell he's going to go to Bulgaria unless they're paying some serious loot. I guess he doesn't consider half a million dollars serious loot in order to travel to Bulgaria, which is a beautiful country, so why not? Maybe he's a little bit nervous about politics over there, um, maybe the judging, the referees, all that kind of thing. Don't know. I don't know what it is, but hopefully they work it out. If not, then Kubrat Paulev will fight the next one down the list, whoever that may be. We'll have to wait and see. So anyway, drop your thoughts below, click that thumbs up, subscribe, catch you all on the next video.